KWTX News 10 at 6 starts now. For the past three days, Fort Hood has been playing host to hundreds of robotics experts from around the country. They're all hoping to show soldiers how their robots can save lives on the battlefield. Bernadette Flores has more from the first annual Robotics Rodeo. Soldiers call it the electromagnetic battlefield. The daily challenge of keeping all their combat tools from radios and Humvees to their unmanned robots working together. We can use some of these systems to aid our, our forces on the ground so that we can use less manpower and to achieve uh, the same goals. And keep their most valuable assets, the soldiers themselves, alive. Which means constantly adding to their collection of unmanned robots and vehicles. It's small, lightweight. Like this robot, which could allow soldiers to open a suspicious package from a distance using a small laptop as its control. Basically anything dull, dirty, and dangerous to get the soldier or the warfighter out of harm's way. Companies from around the country showed Fort Hood their latest tools, like the Oshkosh Corporation's completely autonomous robotic truck. It drives itself using sensors, computer vision, and GPS, perfect for any dangerous situation. You got all the training you need, right? Students from the Temple Belton Robotics Club came to the rodeo to see something that might inspire their next big project. Maybe learn a couple of stuff and maybe we could learn something for our robot. And Fort Hood can learn what they need to do before the dust settles on their next dangerous operation. At Fort Hood, Bernadette Flores, News 10. And some of the robots featured at the rodeo are already assisting soldiers on the front lines, while others are in various stages of development.